first of all, how many of you are on Google Plus? Okay. How many of you have a business page on Google Plus already? Yeah. Just a couple. I of haven't them. been using it though. Okay. Just grab the name. You and the rest of the world. <laughs> the um, one of the things with with Google Plus, and the reason I, I you know, I'm kind of like everybody else, I looked at it and went, oh great, one more thing I got to figure out how to do. And figure out how I'm going to mesh this into everything else that takes me forever to get done, you know, with my social media. So, but I had been watching Google Plus, watching what Google has been saying for the last couple of years. And for the last two or three years, Google has said, one of the factors that we use in our algorithm for ranking sites in search engines, I mean, in our search engine, one of the factors we use is a popularity. So, the more popular your site, the more links that point to your site, the better it's going to do, the better it's going to perform. So, but they've been saying we want to get away from that because, like everything else, it gets abused. You know, we when we started out in 2000, we started. You know, the only thing we had to do to search engine optimize a website was put a few meta tags in there. Mm -hmm. So we could have put anything in there, and, and people did. You know, so if you had a, you know, if you had a porn site and you wanted it to show up, you put, you know, Nintendo or Britney Spears or whatever in there, and boom, there your site showed up. Not really the best way to uh, to prove valuable search. So when Google came along, they said, you know, we want to provide good search content. We want to provide content that is relevant to the topic that we're talking about. So they did away with the the importance of the meta tags, and now they've got this you know algorithm that is probably ranked right under the national defense secrets as far as the way they guard what it is. <laughs> you know, because any of the experts you read. You know, they always say, we think the change was, you know, here's the change, but, you know, how that affects, there is no, you know, there is nobody out there that really understands and knows, not knows, we all have a good understanding of, those that do SEO have a, you know, fairly good understanding of what we're, what the search engine criteria is, but you, you, you try and you experiment and you find the right things and you tweak and you twist till you get the right combination. So, so when Google first, before they launched G+, they put the plus one button out there. And as soon as the plus one button appeared, I said, hmm, want to get rid of link popularity, you plus one, which is like the Facebook like button. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's the equivalent of a like button in Facebook. So as soon as that happened, I went, okay, they found a way. And I started putting a lot of, uh, a lot of time and effort and energy into watching what would happen. How many of you have a plus one button on your website? Okay, I think so. It's, it's a simple process. You don't need your web developer to do it unless you've got a blog. And if, you, if you're just using a blog, and it should, how many of you have it on your blog too? Okay, plug in for that so that's easy to do. And Sharif can show you, I'm sure, how to do that. But you, one of the things that's interesting is sites that have a plus one button generate three and a half times. Uh, more Google Plus visits than sites that don't have the button on there. So you want more traffic from Google Plus, put the plus one button on your website. Have the plus one button on your blog. Have the plus one button everywhere you have content. Because again, it's Facebook's version of liking your site. And, and just it seems like an it seems like a no-brainer, but it's amazing how many times I go to a site and see the plus one button, especially on you know some of my students and clients and things like that, and I go see the plus one button out there, and there's nobody that's plus one but plus one did, including themselves. Plus one your own content. You know, I mean you, you need to you need to be plus one in your content. If you don't like it, why would I? So it just makes sense. Uh, and then just to know, and one more stat that for you, 63% of the G plus users are men. And the typical topic is technology. Now, does that say we shouldn't tend to, should pay attention to the female population? If that's what our target market is, we don't need to be there? No, because, I'm, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. But comparing Google plus to Facebook, for example, Facebook is about people. It's about interacting with people. Google Plus, on the other hand, is about passions. You build it around passionate subjects. What's interesting to you? What do you feel passionate about? What do you like to do? 
And you build your circles around those passions, and that's how you that's how you build that um, that's how you build that circle of that sphere of influence that you want with Google Plus. The um, just an observation on Google Plus. I from a from a relationship standpoint, from a you know social networking standpoint, I'm not crazy about Google Plus from that standpoint. You know, from a as opposed to Facebook. You know, interaction happens on Facebook. You know, you get the personal, the sharings, the you know the stories, the cute pictures, the you know the dog and the kitty pictures that you see <laughs> all over the place. So you get all that. And you get more of that on Facebook. And we're not seeing, you know, you're not seeing millions and millions of people jumping off Facebook to get on Google Plus. But the value of Google Plus is in the SEO. If you want more traffic to your website, if you want to drive more traffic to your website, if you want to improve your search engine ranking, you need to be on Google Plus. Let me give you a let me give you an example of that. Now this this won't uh, this won't show up in a in a search um, in, in an in incognito search yet, but I posted last night at ten o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. I usually don't post on Thursdays, but I waited until specifically to do that till last night. I posted a blog article, the marketing magic bullet. Anthony Sullivan here for your magic, the marketing magic bullet. You know, this will increase your Google rankings. This will get you millions of hits and millions of likes on Facebook. And it's only $19.95, you know, send your check and money order today. <laughs> that type of thing. So it's an article. But I posted that last night. This is my search result on while well, I'm logged in. And you'll see it's the number two. It's number two in the search engine rankings for me, <coughs> for my personalized Search and I'm going to go into this a little more, but I just wanted to show you how quickly you get content plugged in there on Google Plus. Five minutes after I hit the button, that was up. Now, in the old days when we built the website, it would have taken me weeks, months for content to show up. Mm -hmm. With Google Plus, it's instant. I was going to say, another nice thing, though, is it's number two for you, but other people in your circle, it's also showing up that's, immediately. That's exactly it's, yeah. it's on yours? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Gary, yeah. when you say you posted it, it was a post on your blog, it or was, you wrote it directly <coughs> in Google+. Plus. Nope. It was on my blog. So and here's my blog article, okay. mm -hmm. and then I hit the plus one button. Oh, I've okay. already had three people plus one that since last night at 10 o'clock. Okay. So I posted this last night. I hit the plus one button and then I shared it into Google Plus. Right. Okay. So, it, and when you do that, all you do is, when you see the plus one button, when you click it, it's going to pop open a little box that says, "Hey, you want to share this to Google Plus?" Mm -hmm. And you type in what you want to say, and you hit the share button. You decide if you want it public or to a particular circles. You hit that. There's the box right there, and that pops up. I can add my content. I can choose who I want to send it to. I hit share, and it's out there. But let me take it one other step and show you. I'm going to pull up an incognito search. Yes. And by um, you guys familiar with incognito mm -hmm. searches? It's it's mm -hmm. what well, an incognito search means that I'm not logged in as anybody. It says I don't know who oh, you okay. are. Google doesn't know who you are. It just says I'm going to give you the blind results that anybody would see whether they were connected to you. So I'm going to do a search for. Um, ninja marketing tips. Oops. So I'm going to do a search for ninja marketing tips. Blind search, 1.5 million, 1.3 million searches. Number two and three are my blog articles I wrote. One of them's been there since August 29th. The other one was in January. Now, again, it's not a highly competitive term, but 1.3 million searches, and there is pertinent content there. That's because of the power of Google+. Plus. And it's the longevity of that blog post stays there because that keyword phrase is, has been reinforced with other articles that I write with the content that I, that I created. So, that's, the, uh, that's really the power of Google+. Plus. 
one of the things that is so strong about this is in the the social the social search aspect of Google Plus. By social search, I mean, you know, we're we are right now. If you want to find something, you may go to Facebook now and say, hey, you know, does anybody know a good uh, computer repair guy? So we're we're wanting to rather than just trust a blind search, we want to trust a friend or somebody that's in our sphere that we know that will steer us to a word of mouth referral in, in effect. So when we do that on Google Plus, if we were to search, or let's go back to my, this is my search now, this is my, my I'll get back to slide, logged in as me, so I'm logged in to, uh, as, you know, as Gary Wagner, and here is my article. Now, Sharif will say the same thing. You're seeing probably, you're seeing what I'm seeing here, right? You're seeing my picture. You're seeing the, the fact that it's indicated that we're in a circle together. And you're seeing the fact that, you know, my name here. That's a link, folks. That if you wanted to, if, if Sharif wanted to follow me on, and didn't know who I was and wanted to follow me on Google+, he could simply click that link and add me to one of his circles on Google+. So if you find somebody that you read, you know, a blog or article or an author that you know, writes stuff that's really good for your industry, you can click them, add them to your circle so you can, it makes it easier to follow them. 